afternoon everyone, it's Emily Noon and today we are talking about the August launch for Alphalete. So this is going to be Amplify and Surface. I want to talk about everything. <laughs> so before we get started, let me quickly just go over a few things. My measurements are going to be here on the screen for you guys to hopefully help out with sizing. They will also be in the description box below so that you can just go there for the measurements and all the details. Um, and then I do have a discount code. So now if you guys shop, you get 10% off if you use code MOON, and I'll put that up there, M-O-O-N. MOON will get you 10% off, which is super great. Like, it's just nice to apply a discount to every single purchase that you make. It doesn't have to be on launch day. It can be literally any day of the year that 10% off works. And then last of all, if you do want to follow me on Instagram or ask me a question on Instagram, my Instagram is at eHarmony95, and I'll put that in the description box below as well, but always happy to answer your questions and show color comparisons there. Um, but yeah, let's hop into the video. So I have been doing a lot of thinking. Um, I want to make sure my videos are like very helpful for you guys, and I'm always getting questions about like, is this worth it, or what should I do about this, like should I buy this or this? And I just want to make sure that my videos are helping you decide and narrow down what you want to buy and what is worth your money. And I do really think that there's a lot of value to like showing a try on haul and showing like the cute aesthetic clips of how everything looks on. But I kind of want to play with the format a little bit and see what you guys think about how I'm going to be approaching this video. Let me know if you like it better than others, but I just feel like there's a lot of info to go over that like the try on clips aren't really doing it justice so i'll kind of talk you guys through some things such as like squat proofness um color comparisons and how to style the pieces with pieces that you already own how they go with other outfits and everything like that if sizing has changed if anything's different i will let you know um so i think the first thing i want to do is talk about sizing changes Let's start with Alphalete. This is all Alphalete. Let's start with Amplify. So the very first thing I noticed, I actually put on these cute washed denim shorts first. Um, and they were like so tight. They are so tight in the waistband this time around. Tighter than any other launch before. Yes, even tighter than the ombre launch. Um, I personally love that the waist is snatched this time around, but I do know popular opinion, most people are probably gonna want to size up, but I just love like the most compressive, most snatched waist you can give me, give it to me. So I stay true to size. Um, I think if you do have a smaller waist in general, like your ratios, your waist is smaller, you're probably fine true to size. Most people too could stay true to size and they're still gonna fit you. But if you get uncomfortable with a very tight snatched waistband, you might want to consider sizing up for this launch. So hopefully that helps you with sizing there. Um, this wash denim for me was definitely the tightest and most snatched. The other colors were like tighter than previous launches, but they weren't as tight as the washed denim. And they feel very like the material this time around feels very thick and compressive. I'll kind of show you. Um, they feel very similar. I know you guys like to hear like comparisons between fabrics of launches and stuff. They feel very similar. I mean like look at that waistband. It's giving me resistance because it's so tight. But they feel very similar to the Scarlet Red launch and then like the Scarlet Red for me was very like thick and um, durable material. That's how these are feeling this time around. Um, and very similar to kind of like the OG Amplify material. So I want to show you like a comparison. I have all of the, all the leggings out right now. I just destroyed my entire closet. So here's an original pair. This is Viola and you can kind of see the material there. That's how stretchy it is. And then this is a new pair material wise there. So 
feeling very thick and durable durable again it seems like we're kind of moving away from the thin stretchy or almost like soft more brushed feeling i really like the material this time around i did notice the chestnut color was a little bit softer for me still pretty thick and durable but it just felt a little bit softer and a little bit thinner than the other colors so hopefully that can kind of give you an idea of how stretchy and soft that is but um yeah so that's everything with kind of sizing for the amplify um now talking about squat proofness I'm going to go ahead and insert squat proof or squat test clips for all of the colors. Um, I did notice that most of the colors are safe this time around. I do think the chestnut color, am I saying, is it chestnut? I keep getting it mixed between, I think it's hazelnut. Why did I keep saying chestnut? I did notice that the hazelnut color is a little bit lighter, so I think hazelnut i would be a little weary of wearing on leg day and then blossom is very very light the thing i did with blossom and you'll see this up here on the screen now is i wanted to show you a squat proofness comparison between blossom which is the newest color viola which is an og color like one of the very first Amplify ever released, and then Bloom, which was like the cute short pink color that was released much earlier this year. So hopefully if you have like Viola or Bloom, you can get a good sense. It's all in the same lighting, direct like window lighting, but I'm going to put those three up so that you can see them and get a good idea of what squat proofness is for Blossom compared to the Viola and Bloom. Um, but I personally wouldn't wear Blossom on leg day. It's a little too light for me. Um, and what else was I going to say about Blossom? Oh, when it comes to squat proofness, I go commando. I don't wear underwear at all. So I feel like that helps with the squat proofness because you're not seeing any underwear lines or prints or anything like you just it's just the leggings and so as long as it's not like super super sheer you don't really see much but um blossom is definitely light colored there it's lighter than the hazelnut for sure um like i put it on over my white socks and you could like see everything every detail of my white socks through them so yeah, that's the stitch on squat proofness. Um, and then I wanna talk about the new tees. So lucky me, right as I was putting this on, I got makeup on it. So I tried to wash it out and now I have like a dark wet spot. So I tucked it under. But these are the new Amplify short sleeve tees. I got this in a size extra small. I got everything in an extra small this time around, BTW. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think I was gonna like these tees very much. That's why I only got it in one color and I picked my favorite color wash denim. But I just kind of saw them, I was like, I don't really see myself wearing that. And then when I put it on, I'm like, this is actually so cute. I just looked at myself in the mirror. Um, but I'm like, this is actually so cute. I really like it. Um, I didn't think I was gonna like the v-neck, but I do like the v-neck. There's some interesting like paneling down here Like there's a light colored like breathable mesh square down here not really sure what like the purpose of that is but It's there. It doesn't like it's not a deal breaker for me, but it is I just don't really know if it's necessary and then I do kind of like the like detailing on the collar and stuff and like how the stitching is a little bit darker so it's like contouring your shoulders and neckline. I think that looks really good. Um, but yes, pleasantly surprised by the short sleeve tee. I will just be honest though when asking the question, is it worth it? Like is it worth the money? It, you have to be honest with yourself about what you actually wear to the gym like for me I hardly ever wear like a short sleeve fitted crop like this. 
I have a few of the other like older ones with just the scoop neck like the high neck and stuff and I like never wear them I really don't I think they look cute in pictures I think they're cute but I just like for functional purposes I never wear them and so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that like just be honest with yourself if you're the type that likes to wear something over your sports bra to the gym or you find yourself always wearing like a short sleeve crop um, like one of the older ones or whatever it is then I think you will really like these and be pleasantly surprised but if you're not wearing short sleeve crops often I I just don't think it's like worth your money um, to buy one of these and typically in the past like do not quote me or like hold me to this but typically in the past is like what I've noticed is sometimes they'll release leggings in certain colors and not matching sports bras and then like a launch or two later they'll release the matching sports bras so if you're wanting this just for the sole purpose to have a matching set maybe hold off for like a launch or two and see if the matching sports bra comes out and if it doesn't i have a good feeling that these short sleeves will stick around on the website at that point you can buy the short sleeve and have the cute matching set but i wouldn't be surprised again i don't have any detail this is complete speculation but i wouldn't be surprised if they did come out with matching colored sports bras for these in the future so just a thought um so that's everything Amplify. The shorts are, again, a little bit longer this time around. Ever since like the Scarlet launch, the shorts are a little bit longer. I still get my true extra small size and I really like that. I feel like they're gonna ride up um, no matter what. The bikers don't really ride up for me, but the short shorts are just always gonna ride up for me. So um just be aware of that like if you want extra length you might consider sizing up so that you can have a little bit of extra length when they do roll up i personally kind of like the look of a rolled up short i think it's pretty cute um but again it's personal preference so just be aware of that that's the only reason i would size up is if you don't love a super super compressive waistband or if you want a little bit of extra length on the shorts you can size up there um let's do some color comparisons of amplify because i know that's what you guys are wanting to see so yeah we'll get into color comparisons and then i'll talk about surface all right so here is our new color the washed denim and then over here you have neverland the blue moon sports bra french blue ice blue and then the blue moon leggings, the ombre ones. Okay, here is the new whale blue color, which I am obsessed with this color. Oceana right here is one of my top three colors and they're very similar. The thing that I'm liking about this though is like Oceana has more of that marled look and whale blue is just completely solid. This is a Supreme bra from an Alpha Lux collection, like an older one. I believe the color was like Carolina blue. This is French blue. This is an old Alpha Lux bra from last year. And I think the color was called Overcast. And then this is the darkest blue from the Ombre Seamless launch. Moonlight, I think it was. So there they all are. Okay, and then here is Blossom. This is Viola. This is the mauve color from the new Ozone launch. And then this is Bloom. Okay, here is the new Misty Lilac color. This is Storm Gray. This is Bloom. This is the Lavender color from the Ozone launch. And then this is the Lilac Trace skirt. Okay, here is hazelnut. So this is lemonade. This is the tan canvas camo. This is the closest to it. And this is the old, um, very old, arrow nude colored leggings. Golden hour, honey, seashell surface from last year. It's almost like gray compared to this and then not gold. 
with hazelnut. Okay, so hopefully those color comparisons helped you guys. Now I wanna talk about the surface items. And surface is one of my like best collections. I really like surface a lot. They brought back the oil stain color and oil stain was so beautiful and so like highly sought after last year. I'm so glad they brought it back. This oil stain actually looks really pretty with the washed denim blue. But they brought this back in the tri bra and the limitless bra. I already and the altitude bra. I already had the limitless bra, so I got it in the tri bra. I also got the tri bra in white. That's what I'm wearing right now. Now I want to talk about the tri bra because tri bra is like literally one of my most favorite bras ever. In the past, it's been like so comfortable. I thought it was so flattering. And so I was really excited when they released the new um, tri bras. I was like, yes, I can finally get my hands on a white one. I love the oil stain and to have it in tri bra would just be a dream. But they did change the fit a little bit. And what I've noticed is, <laughs> I don't like it as much. They're not as comfortable and like, the thing I kind of liked about the old ones, they almost were like a little more like loose and forgiving. Like I just loved wearing a tri bra on a day that I didn't feel like being like sucked in and in like so much tight clothing on. I loved the tri bra for that. And then the tri bra also used to be a little bit more high neck. Now it's scooped down just a little bit. So these are pretty fitted now and scooped down. If you like a comfortable bra, I might rec er, recommend <laughs> sizing up. Um, or if you like the fit of the old tri bras, I'd probably recommend sizing up in the tri bra. But otherwise, you can just stay true to size. That's just the scoop on the tri bra situation. And I think I'm probably the most heard about it just because tri bra was like one of my very favorite bras. They're also bringing back the altitude bra. And the altitude bra is really like so many people love the altitude bra because it's long line. So it's more like a tank almost like you feel like you're kind of wearing like a shirt. And then the back is just like a really beautiful detail because it's got the thick band up top and then the smaller band down below. I'd highly recommend getting one of these in white just because like I feel like everybody needs like a white long line sports bra and this is a really pretty one to have. The only thing I'll say about this as far as sizing goes is um, the straps aren't adjustable at all. So if you have a really wide back um, or like a really large chest, I might recommend sizing up just because this will be pretty tight. Another thing I noticed with the white is that the bra pads are pretty see-through. So you might just want to take them out. Um, but yeah, while I'm wearing it, I feel like I can see the bra pads through the white color. And then they brought back the Surface Power Short. And this is so amazing because they made some edits to it. And I love when Alphalete like listens to feedback and then improves on an item. Because it just like goes to show that this brand, like they actually care about what their customers think and stuff. So keep giving your opinions, keep giving feedback because it just helps the items become better and better and better over time. I know it's really appreciated. So the thing that they changed about these is that they made them into a five inch inseam. So they're so much longer before. I wanna say they're like a three and a half, maybe like a three inch. They were so tiny. I never, ever, ever wore my Surface Power Shorts. In fact, I actually got rid of them because they were just so short. Like I couldn't do anything about it. I feel like, like honestly, my bum cheeks were hanging out every single time. Now these I do pull up a little bit just so that I can have them higher on the waist and so that I can move that extra fabric around um, the area so that I don't get as much of a camel toe. So they do kind of ride up a little bit, but it's so nice to have that extra length. Like you're just in such a better position and it's much more favorable. I got these in the color black because it will literally go with everything. I also ordered them in the color oil stain, but they accidentally sent me two blacks. So, but that's okay. Now I already had the oil stain leggings in the crisscross waist, um, the power leggings. So I didn't order them again. 
but word on the street is is that they're a little bit different this time around um so as you'll notice here on like the shorts hopefully you can see it in the black but like the waistband comes to a v down here and the old ones it used to be rounded like a scoop so i think that's kind of flattering that's going to be in the leggings as well I did get the pocket leggings just because I don't have any pocket leggings and sometimes it's nice to just have a pair of leggings that you know is going to like cover your belly button and everything. The pockets are really deep, they're stretchy so you can fit a lot of good stuff in there. These pocket leggings actually come in two different lengths this time around which is nice. There's no front seam and honestly guys, I'm like going to be 100% honest. In almost every legging except for Amplify, I get a camel toe. So these ones I feel like are a little bit more forgiving for me versus like Pulse, like oh my gosh, Pulse is camel toe city. Or like Alpha Lux, I find that I get a camel toe really easily. But Surface is like next best thing. It kind of like protects against getting the camel toe. So um, just a fair warning. But yeah, I would say definitely get your hands on a pair of the oil stain leggings. Your preference will just come down to whether you want the cute crisscross waistband or the straight across waistband. I would say that I could see myself reaching more for the V waistband, the power leggings, just because it's more of a statement and I like that. Even though I have both, I'll probably reach for my V waistband more often. Um, but yeah, and then the Limitless bra, I didn't get in any of the colors because I already have it in every color. I adore the Limitless bra. The Limitless bra is just so, it's so simple cute. Like the back, you have those cute little crisscross details. Um, but I love it in every color and it, it kind of, kind of can give off like training bra vibes, like training bras and like I'm 11 years old and wearing my first bra even though I don't have any boobs which I don't anyways now but um it can kind of give off that vibe and I know girls with like bigger chests don't love the limitless bra as much but for us who are a little bit smaller in the chest surface limitless is like probably my top bra I think surface limitless and then tri bra is my second bra but anyways that's the scoop on surface no, they are not sweat proof, but all of these colors are dark, so you're going to be okay and it won't show. The oil stain does a really good job at hiding sweat just because of like the pattern here. Um, but in the future, if there are surface colors, like lighter colors, just know that they aren't sweat proof. Um, but that's everything for the new items. I did want to show you guys some outfit inspo ideas, so I'll insert those at the end here. Um, so that you can see like how I paired some of the colors with other options Just so that you feel like you like again how I was saying if you're not like a short sleeve crop kind of girl You can use items that you already own or I tried to include some items that are still on the website so that you can mix and match and make things really fun and Yeah, just have some inspo. I hope it helps but that's everything um, so again, if you do have any questions, you can either comment them down below or you can message me on Instagram and I will definitely get back to you there. I always get back to my Alphalete girls. And that's all, I think. Okay, happy shopping day on Saturday.